I've seen the struggle and the determination in her to complete these courses. Taylor McClendon celebrated with family and friends when she proudly crossed the John F. Kennedy graduation stage in the spring. She was excited. She's FaceTiming like with her hat and her cap and gown and you know it was beautiful. But it all got taken away. Instead of diplomas, Taylor and many other students were given a piece of paper that said that they would receive their diplomas at a different date, but that date never came. Eyewitness News first broke the story about grade fixing at Kennedy High School earlier this year, but Taylor's mother, Darnette Daniels, says her daughter couldn't graduate because the online classes she took were not supervised by certified teachers. The program is called GradPoint, and Daniels says the school told her the courses could be taken at home. So many of these kids are not getting a diploma, not behind grade fixing, it's behind grad point. At least 87 members of the 177 student senior class at Kennedy were ineligible to graduate for reasons ranging from inflated grades to grad point issues. 69 of those took part in graduation. I think it's gross mismanagement all the way around. It's a lack of oversight, a lack of supervision. It's a great sacrifice and she's already been through a lot. Attorney Suzette Bagneris is representing Darnett and her daughter. She's hoping for class action status involving all the students who she says were wrongfully denied their diplomas. I'm going to fight for my child, even if this is fighting for everybody else's child. I'm going to fight for mine. And the students were told they could make up the missing credits in summer school, but many like Taylor were told they had to come back in the fall and repeat their senior year. Tonight, Taylor's mom says she's not going to give up until her daughter has that diploma. I should tell you that we reached out to all four defendants in this lawsuit, including Orleans Parish Schools, the Orleans Parish School Board, as well as New Beginnings Charter School that operates this school here. No one got back to us for comment. That's the story live in Gentilly. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. All right, Paul, thanks so much.